promoting your blog and videos. Unfortunately, blogging is not as simple as build it and they will come. Although regularly posting on Instagram and on YouTube will help this. Just because you have a great blog, that doesn't mean that people are going to want to read it regularly or that Google is going to help people to discover it. So how do you get the word out? There are a number of different strategies, but I'm going to focus on the most important ones and look at this from the perspective of a top blogger rather than your conventional internet marketer. Share your posts. Actually, the most important thing you can do to start building an audience for your blog post is to share those blog posts. There are a number of ways you can do that, and chances are that with experimentation, you'll find what works for you and what doesn't. A great option for many people is Reddit. Find the subreddit that is most relevant to your niche, and then post your blog post in here, making sure that they have titles that will grab attention, but also being mindful not to get banned from the community for spam. If you get lots of upvotes, which happens occasionally, it can lead to thousands of new visitors in a single day. Similar is Google Plus Communities. These tend to be a little less strict than Reddit, but will still yield plenty of new visitors and hits on your site. What's more is that Plus Ones are a good metric for boosting your SEO. Dig is another good site, as is StumbleUpon. Otherwise, you might want to find forums where you can post your content. Again, though, be careful not to be seen as a spammer. You need to make sure that you contribute to the community regularly and that you are an active member. If you can do that, then your content will be welcomed rather than deleted. You might even find that the members rally behind you to help. Make a mailing list. Finally, make sure you have a mailing list. This is a way to make sure you are capturing the details of each new person that visits your site so that you can market to them later on. This way, you can share what you're doing and promote your new posts directly in their inbox, which is much more direct than personal than going through social media. Influencer marketing and guest posting. One of the most powerful ways to get more people to visit your site is with influencer marketing. This means that you're going to exchange links with other big players in your niche or give each other a shout out. This happens on YouTube a lot where one creator might make a video featuring another and then they do the same thing in exchange. Either way, influencer marketing allows you to gain access to a huge audience that someone else has gone to the trouble of building. If you try and contact the top blogger in your niche, then of course you can expect to be told where to go. But if you choose someone at a similar level as yourself, then you can help each other and then build up from there. Even if they're smaller than you, you can still help each other. This is also why it's such a good idea to attend networking events as a blogger. If you do this, then you can find people to work with and make a much bigger impression by speaking in person. This way you become almost real friends and they will feel practically obligated to answer your emails and help. Similar to influencer marketing is guest blogging. Here, you simply create a free guest post to give to another blog. And the only proviso is that they have to include a link back to your site, often with a short bio if they publish it. This means writing content and then reaching out to big blogs. Again, start a little smaller and work your way up and don't be afraid to ask. If you're passionate about what you do, then you'll be surprised how often you get a good response. Again though, this is why it's so important that you know and love your topic and that your site looks professional. Top brands don't want to associate with lesser brands. SEO. I'm not going to go into detail about this here. This is not a training on SEO. But suffice to say that if you want your site to do well, then a little search engine optimization certainly doesn't hurt. Spend some time learning the basics of SEO and make sure that your on-page content is up to scratch. Don't cram keywords though and don't write for the search engines. Write for your audience. And just make sure that you are naturally using related language and ideally the occasional synonym or keyword. It doesn't hurt to do some basic research about what kinds of things people are searching for in the niche either. Make sure your pages load quickly and a responsive for mobile too. The plugins and theme section of this training should have helped with that. The most important part of SEO is to have a diverse and organic looking backlinks profile and to get links from the biggest sites you can. Ideally, you want links from sites that Google trusts. And you can see this by looking at which sites Google features in its news section. If you can't get links from them, then get links from people that they have linked to. Think of this like a game of degrees of separation. Combine this with links that you acquire from people who want to share your content because it is of such high quality. This is why it's so important to write for people and not bots. Nothing beats real links from real people. One last tip. 
One last tip when it comes to marketing is to look after your fans. If you've ever read the book 1,000 True Fans, then you'll know the concept that having a number of true fans can be enough to promote your business and ensure it's a massive success. Answer messages and look after each and every person that shows an interest in your brand. This is what you've been working for, so why would you ignore them?